Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris. Now I wanted to take stock of our current situation before we start the game today um, because there's a couple things that I think are worth reviewing. Uh, first thing is the year is 2362. That puts us only 38 years away from the endgame crisis. That's really snuck up on us. Um, I was not really looking at the date and I kind of got a little sidetracked with all of these minor wars that we've been involved in and I haven't even been thinking how close the endgame crisis actually is. So we really need to double down and start making sure we are prepared. That means researching as many military technologies as we can. Um, I think we need to stop putting off researching citadels. We need to get citadels ASAP. Um, those are going to be crucial for our defense. Um, the second thing I wanted to take a look at was the Chosen. Um, I just want to keep keep checking them. I know they are very, very, very powerful at the moment. And uh, they control a vast amount of territory now. It looks like they've been expanding east since the last time we checked on them, and they haven't gone west or north very much. Um, so for the time being, they are a distant threat, so we don't really need to worry about them right away. Um, the next thing I wanted to look at was opinions. Um, if we look at the opinions map mode, we can see that most of our neighbors are at best neutral and at worst hostile with us. Um, so even if we look in the greater galaxy um, abroad, we don't really have many allies whatsoever. Um, and that's kind of by design. Um, the way we've been playing this game, we've been really focusing internally and not focusing on diplomacy. Um, we'd rather have, you know, strong allies within our vassal state within the Republic and um, everyone else is not really that important to us. Um, that being said, this does put a little bit of a, a twist in our plans. We were going to go to the war with the Alliance of Hardshell Harbor and the Sander and Authority, which I think is their vassal, um, to conquer some territory. But if we look at this, they're in a federation. So look what happens if I go to declare war. The Alliance of Harchel Harbor, the Sandran Authority, the Velutarian Technocracy, the Regime of Relash, and the Lyritan Compact are all coming to war with me. That is a lot, a lot, a lot of defenders. Um, so notably, I think, here's the Lyritan Compact. So we are going to be fighting this war on multiple fronts. We're going to have to send at least one fleet here to defend the state of Panaxala, because I don't know if they're capable of defending themselves. Um, and is everyone else down here? Where's the regime of Relash? It's not one of these things up here, is it? No. Okay. I'm going to be honest. I don't really know where the, re the regime of Relash is. Oh, here they are. Okay, so it looks like if we declare war on the Alliance of Harchal Harbor, we're going to war with this whole block of the galaxy here. Um, so before we do that, keeping that in mind, knowing that we're going to be fighting on at least two fronts, I'd like to build a third fleet before we declare war. Um, I think that's going to be absolutely necessary. Um, they are no joke. Yes, their fleet power says pathetic, but there is one, two, three, four, five empires fighting us against just us so we're definitely going to need to 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 update our military um okay other than that i think our worlds are all doing fine with housing and jobs especially since the decision we made on the last episode we're actually losing a lot of population right now which we will regain over time um but it's going to mean that we don't have to build any new buildings or jobs on our planets for you know the time being all right with that long-winded introduction out of the way, let's go ahead and finish what we started in the last episode, uh, finish conquering the Oban Wildlings. Um, and as we send our fleet to repair, I want to go ahead and take a look at our um, society management. Now, in the comments, you guys told me about three different Ascension perks that you guys were interested in me taking. The first that you guys mentioned was Eternal Vigilance. Um, this is going to boost the power of our star bases and help us defend our territory a lot better. This is going to be really important when the endgame crisis comes, 
So I think this is definitely worth taking. Um, and the second, um, the second two uh, perks that you guys told me that you want me to take are Galactic Contender, which improves our damage against Fallen Empires, um, which I understand is one potential ending for the end game crisis. And the other one was, um, what was it? Maybe it was Defender of the Galaxy? Yeah, Defender of the Galaxy, which improves our damage to endgame crises, which actually includes crisis-seeking civilizations. So I think that might include the Fallen Empires if one of them awakes and becomes the endgame crisis. In any case, um, I think here's what we're going to do. Before, until we know what the endgame crisis is, um, whether it's a Fallen Empire, then I think we'll take Galactic Contender, or if it's something else, I think we'll take Defender of the Galaxy. I think in both scenarios, we're going to want to take Eternal Vigilance first. Um, we have two more Ascension perk slots, and my understanding is we can uh, unlock the second Ascension perk through technology. So we're going to take our first one right now. This is going to improve our Starbase damage, hull points, and our defense platform damage and cap. Um, so that's going to be a great boon for us. And we will try to get this technology unlocked when we can. And we will take the appropriate next Ascension perk when we find out what the endgame crisis is going to be. Alright, sounds like a plan. Alright, so our fleet should be repairing at the Farinus Black Hole Station. Construction complete. Um, and once they repair, we should move back into harmonious response and finish off the open wild research complete all right here we go 96 97 98 looks like we can get a new society research Ooh, what is ancient pulse armor i like it that it's archaeotech Let's see, armor hit points and shield hit points and shield regen. Oh wait, no, shield regen is normal. Um, that seems good, it's armor and shields all in one. I wonder if it's more efficient or less efficient than having them separate. 170 and 75 for small. Let's see how that compares if I go into ship designer um, and I look at small components for armor. 170 and 75. Uh, I think this is actually not worth it, to be honest. I mean, we do get Archaeotech damage and uh, effectiveness bonus. We'll have to see what it is with the, with the bonus we get. But yeah, I don't think this is going to be worth our time. From Archaeo Engineers, shield hit points plus another 75. Okay, well with 150 shields, it's more worth it. Um, cause we get two of these. Yeah, okay, I think this is actually gonna be worth it with the bonus that we get. So let's unlock this. Um, another person I've mentioned that I need to be careful with my relics. Um, and mention that if I... Um, if I'm not careful, I'm going to run out of relics in the middle of a war and I'm not gonna be able to reinforce my fleets. So we might build our third fleet using designs that use no Archaeotech whatsoever and just keep our Archaeotech weapons, you know, confined to the first two fleets. That way we're not going to run out of uh, minor artifacts. All right. Um, with that being said, let's move our third fleet into this system and get ready to invade the Auburn Wildlings for one last time. We can level up our Commissary General. I think we can get... Yeah, let's get the Unity and Governing Ethics Extraction bonus. Alright. We can also upgrade our Tribune of Rights, who is governing... Let's see. I don't think this person is assigned anywhere. Let's give them... Yeah, let's give them a Counselor trait since they're on the council for reduced pop upkeep and increased trade value and uh it looks like we have two um governors that need to be assigned so let's actually just assign them to planets real quick um we could probably assign one to desadia 
that's a very important... Let me just make sure we have a leader on every capital. Yeah. Dissadia is a very important world, especially since we're focusing on energy at the time being. So let's assign um, our m the Tribune of Rights here. Um, and I suppose... I suppose Gruner Prime could probably also use one. So let's go ahead and add our Master Crafter here. All right, sounds great. I think we can clear some blockers from this world. We will go ahead and do that. We can clear some blockers from this world as well. I'm lacking um, amenities on this world. Let's replace this um, research labs with hollow theaters. I like. I need to have hollow theaters on every world. Right. Born life born we are full encounter. up on alloys. Really? That's never a problem I thought we'd have. It might be worth starting to build up our third fleet. Let's actually go into fleet management. Um, let's see. Both of these fleets have 170 capacity and we can have total of 190. Let's upgrade our fleet. I think we could probably add in... So we have a total of... Let's see. Eight battleships. I think it'd be worth having a total of 12 cruisers. So if we get six gunships and six torpedo class cruisers, that'll be good. Um, 16 destroyers and maybe like 32 corvettes. That still leaves us with one bonus. We could probably get an extra energy battleship. Yeah, I think that's going to be good. So we're going to go to six torpedoes. 32 corvettes and we're gonna go four battleships that still leaves us with four more hmm I wonder if instead of getting two more corvettes we this leaves us with eight more so I think we can get a whole nother um, cruiser We can get two more cruisers. Do we want more gunships or torpedoes? I think we're actually going to go a little bit unbalanced. I think we're going to go more gunships than torpedoes. So we're going to keep 30, 16, 8, 6. 30, 16, 8, 6. 2, 4, 3. Okay, I think that's a good, I think that's a good uh, layout. I'm going to go ahead and copy this template into this new fleet here. I'm gonna disband this other fleet we don't need. So we've got 190 here. Um, and let's go ahead and reinforce this fleet. Let's build a new fleet. Let's reinforce this fleet as well. And let's reinforce this fleet as well. Lots of build orders. All right. Looks like we are poised and ready for attack. Let's move into Harmonious Response and begin our final push. Hostile station engaged. All right, we can continue unlocking new technologies. I think we need to start researching laser and kinetic weapons technologies so we can unlock some of the other weapons. I mean, tachyon sensors is pretty good too for the bonus and tracking, but we really need to go for the lasers. All right, here we go. This is surely one of the biggest battles we've ever had to um, fight in this in this playthrough. So Sierra Katoon and her robot companion Gorky have spent much of their spare time conducting private experiments. Some of them have now yielded interesting results, um, and she has decided to share her findings. Wow, a whole bunch of bonus science. Well, that really wasn't that much in the grand scheme of things. Looks like we still not only had a tiny little impact on UV lasers. All right, I mean, we'll take it, no matter how small the bonus is. Wow, okay. After all this, we've still barely made a dent. There's still a ton, a ton, a ton of stations in the system that need to be taken care of. 
Alright, hopefully we can take care of this ship. I think this is going to be our biggest threat right now. Okay, I think the big ship has been taken care of. Here's another one of those big ships that we need to take care of. Oh, speaking of subject specializations, let's actually go into Panixala and let's see if we can renegotiate their contract. I wanted to make them a Scholarium. Negotiate agreement. How much influence is this going to cost us? So I want you to join all of our wars. We will give you unified sensors. We have enough influence. Let's do it. Let me just make double check all of our vassal terms. Integration prohibited, restricted voting, expansion permitted. They're going to be giving us 30% of their produced science. Proceed. All right. They're going to specialize as a scholarium for us now. All right, we will continue checking Blanca in cleared. on this battle. Well, we have taken a cruiser casualty in this fleet. Wow. I didn't think we'd be losing one of our cruisers. Those are expensive to replace. The end of the Auburn Wildlings. We have destroyed the last of their massive space stations that house the majority of their population. Refugees from their surviving civilian population have scattered across the galaxy. Although some Oba pirates and mercenary fleets may still be unaccounted for, the loss of their space dwellings is a devastating blow that they cannot recover from. That puts a definite end to their raiding. All right, we've done it. We have done it. I think we need to go ahead we have a science ship we don't have a science ship I was gonna say we could research all that debris let's go into Yamathur let's go into our shipyard and let's build a science ship and let's see if I can move that all the way to the top and uh, we can get researching all that debris real fast okay we're gonna move our recovered asset back to Fevnor we're gonna move one of our star fleets I think needs to move to Huawei and the other of our star fleets needs to move down south to uh, Ragunov. We're gonna move our Huawei fleet over here to the east. We're gonna move our Ragunov fleet down to the south. I think we'll move two fleets down to the south and one to the east. And hopefully with the aid of the state of Panaxala, our one fleet in the east will be enough. Fingers crossed. We have a hyper relay network, so if we need to quickly, you know, shoot up one of our fleets, we can hopefully get there and without losing too much Research time. Research complete. All right, we've unlocked UV lasers. I think we should go for the upgraded hyperdrives for that exact reason that I was just talking about, being able to more effectively use our hyper relay networks. Those are not limited by, you know, sub sublight speed, but by our hyperdrive cooldowns. So. Hyperdrive level three, let's go. Um, here's our science ship. Let's quickly pull one of our scientists that's not doing anything. This scientist is not doing anything. Um, and let's move them into the harmonious response system, research projects and system, research projects and system. All right, there we go. How is this Starfleet doing? What have we recently researched that wants to be upgraded? I don't know. Not sure. Maybe it was our hyperdrive? No, we just started researching the hyperdrive technology. I don't know why our fleet wants to be upgraded so soon. All right. I'm nervous for this upcoming war. This will be our last war probably that we'll get the chance to declare before we're completely distracted by defending against the endgame crisis. In fact, if we take too, too much longer, I think it wouldn't even be worth fighting this war at all because we would really just want to focus on getting ready for the endgame crisis. All right. Our recovered asset has returned. Let's see, are we continuing to upgrade these um, shipyards, um, these star bases, I should say? No, we have not been keeping up on that as we should. All right. 
How about in this? We have built a bunch of anchorages. I think it's also worth building um, a transit hub. And since this is not a defensive system, I think we're going to go ahead and build, well, I don't know, resource silos is good. And um, I think we'll build a hydroponics bay, might as well. I think we had a couple of others here, yeah. Jotham, we'll do the same thing here. Hydroponics bay, resource silos, transit hub. Okay, how is this debris helping us? Yeah, it's actually helping us quite a lot. Filling in a lot of those technologies that we're just really behind in. Complete. Even though we're kind of leading, leading in terms of our technology, we have been neglecting certain technologies far more than we should have. Transit hub, hydroponics, resource silos. Research complete. All right. So we should make sure every star fleet. We're lacking the alloys we need. Wow. Okay. Let's buy a whole bunch more alloys. Let's see here. What's going on with these five cruisers? Why do we have five cruisers just alone without a home? Do those cruisers belong in this star fleet? Seven gunship class cruisers. Let's see, what are these? These are torpedo and gunship? Okay, so I think we want to merge the Karanda and the Forfun. Yes. All right, so now if I go into fleet management, just want to make sure that we didn't mess up any of these numbers. 30, 16, 8, 6. Yeah, okay, this is perfect. All right. Fleet is at full strength. This fleet will soon be at full strength. Research this fleet complete. will want to be at full strength. Research complete. We've got ancient pulse armor. All right, next up, we need to unlock. Let's see what we can get. Regenerative whole tissue is kind of bad. I don't think it's ever worth spending a component slot on having your armor repair when you can just repair at space stations. Um, wow, I mean, we've been avoiding taking this the whole time because I just didn't think it was that important because we haven't been playing on the defensive, but we're about to see the end game crisis in, you know, 40 years. They might actually be invading our planets and we might be thankful for having the defense army damage plus 33%. Um, let's see what we can do here. We can increase our metallurgist output. Oh, I think we need to get rail guns or devastator torpedoes. I think we're gonna start with rail guns. These are technologies that are kind of gateways into other technologies. Let's go ahead and upgrade this fleet. Actually, before we upgrade the fleet, let's go into Ship Designer and let's make sure our fleets are all up to date with um, all the components that we want them to have. I think I'm so happy with the design of our Corvettes. I think our Destroyers I'm very happy with. Um, I think I was going to replace some or all of these with Ancient Cloud Missile Launchers. Now these cost nine nine minor artifacts so i think so that we don't run out of minor artifacts we're just going to replace a couple of slots with these nano missile cloud launchers now these don't just do shield penetration they also do armor penetration unlike normal missiles um, and they're also better at overwhelming enemy pd okay Okay, we can't upgrade any of these ship designs while ships are currently being built, so we'll have to wait for our um, we'll have to wait for our space stations to be done. Debris analyzed. Shipyards. What's going on here? Are any of our other shipyards? <laughs> Can you guys hear my cats going crazy in the background? Are any of my other shipyards building? No, I think it's just the Raganoth's shipyard. So. 90 more days and we can start updating our, our designs encountered. and upgrading our sheet, our fleets. All right. I 
Fantastic. Okay, let us go. Our fleets are at full strength now, I believe. No. We still need one more cruiser. Is that what we're missing? It looks like we're missing a battleship. All right. Looks like we've unlocked rail guns. We could get the next level of torpedoes, and I think I will. Or that's always going to be waiting for us. We should do that next. Right now, we should be really getting Citadel technology. We really need to start getting fully upgraded defenses. All right. The state of Mythfell has become more outwardly xenophobic. Uh-oh. Does that mean they're fanatic xenophobes now? Okay. Seems like they're not letting that affect our relationship. Interesting. Research complete. Okay, we will go ahead and form a research agreement and a commercial pact with them. Let's see. We have unlocked better defense armies. We can get more food from farmers. We can get more building slots. Hmm. We can get an increase to our defense army. We can unlock fortresses. Might be worth build, starting to build fortresses on our planets as well. Um, but I think, just looking at our economy, I want to make sure we don't fall behind on anything. Let's just increase our food from farmers. Strange asteroid. Hmm. Yeah, we're not going to get a chance to Research excavate that complete. site. We'll let the state of Mythfell handle that archaeology. All right, we finished unlocking regenerative whole tissue just just off the back of this um, battle debris. Alien megastructure built. Wow, they built gateways? That's cool. I want gateway technology. We haven't seen that one pop up. That hasn't been an option. All right, let's go into fleet management. Let's go into ship designer. Now let's go ahead and we are going to update our design for our torpedo cruisers. We are going to give them ancient nano cloud, ancient nano missile cloud launchers. That's a mouthful. A ship of this design is currently being built. Where? Where? Construction complete. Huawei? Debris analyzed. Yamathur? Ragunoth? I can't tell. Okay, looks like these um, these star bases are finished upgrading. No, they're not. Which star bases? Construction complete. Faction founded. A new faction has recently been gaining traction in the political landscape of the Favarian Republic. They call themselves the Internal Strength Center. They sound like xenophobic faction. Xenophobic and isolationist. All right. The, looks like this is three cruisers, three torpedo class cruisers. Are those the three torpedo class cruisers we need? No, we don't need three torpedo class cruisers. Do we need any torpedo class cruisers here? No. And no. Okay. We need one more torpedo class cruiser. So we can go ahead and transfer ships. We can get one of these and then we have to disband the other two. Okay, so let's take this and we will merge it with this, which needs one more torpedo class. No. With this. Is this the one that needs? No. Nope, I cannot figure out. Is it this one? Yes, it's this one and this one. We want to merge them. Okay, so now if I go into fleet management, I should have 16, so 30, 16, 8, 6, 30, 16, 8, 6, 30, 16, 8, 6. 
All right. Are all these construction complete? Where are all these cruisers that we seem to be missing? Debris analyzed. We seem to be missing a few gunship cruisers. Construction Here's complete. some gunship cruisers that are on the way. Is it Fevnor? Where the Yes. This is where our missing ships are being built. Okay, so if I cancel those that are queued. Okay. Let's let this queue finish. Let's actually just cancel that. Let's go into fleet management. Let's go into ship designer. Let's update everything and then we can requeue all of the you know reinforcements that we need. Okay, so we're gonna upgrade our cruisers. Is there anything else we need to upgrade? We have the maximum of all of these for the time being. I'd like to get advanced combat computers, but we don't have those yet. All right, cruisers, gunship cruisers are doing fine for the time being. All right, these are fine, these are fine, and these are fine. All right, I think nothing needed else to upgrade. So let's just go ahead. Now we will finally reinforce fleet. Reinforce fleet. And I guess we can just give this the upgrade order because it's already at full strength. Debris analyzed. All right, and here we go. We can start building defenses on this star base. Um, I say we do two hangers three gun batteries and a torpedo battery and I think we should make this a shipyard a frontier shipyard so we can um, research complete we can quickly reinforce things um, on the border we can go ahead and also build uh, crew quarters and we can probably build listening posts that's probably worth it. All right, we can upgrade one of our leaders. Let's see, this is governing new Favaria. Let's go ahead and give the governor bonus to research. We have increased our food from farmers. We can increase our naval capacity. Looking at our current naval capacity, yeah, that's desperately needed. What are our other options? Okay, nothing better. I think naval capacity definitely warranted. We can upgrade one of our Debris. commanders as well. We can give them, yeah, let's give them a bonus to sublight speed. The state of Panixala no longer wants a research agreement. Do they not like us anymore? What's going on here? They don't like being a Scalarium. I think we need to improve our relationships with them. Are these people losing loyalty? No, they're not. These people have plenty of loyalty, so I actually think we need to... We need to move both of our... Both of our envoys to improving relationships with the state of Panic Sala to keep them loyal. Because we made them really powerful and it would really suck if we made them really powerful and then they stopped being loyal to us. All right. Ships upgraded. All right, here we are. I think we are just about ready for our final war. Research complete. Research complete. We've got shields. I think we need to get x-rays. X-ray lasers. Oh. Not until we're done with hyperdrives. Okay. Um, so, we've had a productive episode. Um, we have basically managed to... Uh, update our fleets in preparation for our final war. 
we were really getting a edge on our technology at the time being. Who are we at war with? What is this? The Blessed Lyrtian Compact. Are we at war? The Blessed Lyrtian Compact is attacking the Sandrin United Planet States. Uh, when did this happen? When did this happen? Okay. Um, let's go ahead and end the episode here. And next episode, we're going to have to see to this war. I didn't realize that we were at war with the Lyrtian Compact. But it looks like they are trying... It's called an uprising. Maybe this is a civil war or something? I must have totally missed that, um... Totally missed that notification up here. But it looks like, uh, somebody's trying to make all of our vassals independent. So we're gonna have to go, um, crush this, crush this independence movement. And, uh... Who knows, if this war drags on, we might not get the chance to um, fight the war that we wanted to in the south before the endgame crisis comes along. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.